Hey right, guys, welcome back to Fog Wrestling for your WWE Raw preview today. And you're thinking, why the hell are we doing a preview? What the fuck is the preview about Raw? Well, in case you didn't know, it is the premiere of Raw. This is not just any old edition of Monday Night Raw. This is the first episode, apparently, to a brand new season. Um, it's really not. It's just a way of them trying to get ratings, so they fucking included the word Raw premiere. But, I mean, we all know it's just going to be another garbage Raw the only good thing about tonight is we do have some legends up here. We've got Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair and Brock Lesnar all scheduled to be there. So that will automatically make it better than it has been the last few weeks. And it, well, let's be honest, man, it couldn't get worse than it's been the last few weeks. It's been terrible. Plus, Seth nope. Rollins will defend his uh, Universal title tonight against Rey Mysterio. I would love Ray Ray to win, but I think we all know how the match is going to go down. And it's going to end with Seth Rollins as oh, the yeah. champion. Oh, yeah. Especially... When they've already booked in more or less Seth Rollins versus, you know, the Fiend for the title. So, I mean, I don't know. Unless, can Ray win and then Rollins face, faces the Fiend without the belt on the line? I mean, personally, maybe that maybe that can happen because I don't think the Fiend should win the title. And then I suppose if, if Seth Rollins doesn't have the title, the Fiend can go over and not win the belt. So maybe, but, you know, they're, just, they're not, not going to put the belt on Ray, like... They should. But you never know, man. What do you think, Steve? What's your opinion on this universal title? Well, I'll tell you one thing, right? Deal. Seeing the attitude of Ruthless Aggression, more, more the attitude of... See, every, I'm not saying every week the world title is on the line, but, you know, I mean, I mean, it's more... A show's way more important when there's titles. I know the titles now mean as much as, you know what I mean? Um, ha, a pish, they don't mean hee-haw, you know what I mean? But see, when like, see Ray against... Rollins is shit, but see how... I mean... They've got talent. I mean, they've got the Hardys. I mean, you've got Ray. I mean, the high angle. Why? Why? Why only now is Ray getting put in a title match? You know what I mean? Like the world title. This should be happening weekly to keep people entertained. You know I mean, see when Cena's back. Like for once, he should be. For, I don't give a shit about burying the young talent. Like Big John should be there. That that gets ratings up. You know what I mean? If Big John's in a title match, you know what I mean? And same with and same with Ray. So I don't know. I think that should be a regular occurrence, don't I think so? No, I agree, I. but uh, final thoughts on this unifair. Do you think Ray's got a chance tonight? Or? No. I mean, he might win the match, but he won't win the title. So the Fiend will probably come out like, and cost Rollins the uh, well, but you, DQ but or something. Do you not agree with me that, like, I don't think they'll put the belt on the Fiend, but at the same time, I. How can he I mean, not beat would, Rollins? I don't think. I suppose they'll cut. I mean, they could have fucking Rollins pick up a fluke win, but either a fluke win or not, once someone's beat, you know what I mean? You, the first defeat shouldn't be a fluke win. The first defeat should be a fucking convincing one. Like, imagine, like, it's like Undertaker, do you know what I mean? Like, when he you first don't get lost, fluke wins on monsters. More, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, I mean. You might get fluke win. wins on, like, a like a plucky upcomer, like, or something, but not. I mean, Kane, when he debuted, when he got beat, like. By Taker, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't a roll up. It was. Yeah, it was three tombstones. tombstones you know what I mean? What if it was a, if it was the old twenty four seven heart everyday title fucking roll up? I don't think it would have had the same impact as the the three tombstone pile drivers like. But you know, that's what this is like. Cali, when he finally lost, it was to Taker. You know what I mean, Taker got the job done. Cali didn't lose to fucking Brian Kendrick with a small package. So I mean, I don't know. I I don't think the Fiend will win the belt, but. I think it's far too early for him to lose. So maybe maybe Ray can win the belt, like, but I wouldn't put money on it. I think they'll just have a, you know, a, it could be a really good match, but I just can't see past Rollins, like, unfortunately. Right, well, I'll, I'll tell you something. It's a season premiere, and you see usually when there's a season premiere, people can return, and there's one guy been in rumours we were returned, and that is Phil Brooks, damn it. Any, any light to that, or do you think that's bullshit? I can't see it, like, but I mean, I mean, not on this show, like, but I mean, I put him on the thumbnail, so I, I thought we had to address him. No, that's fair enough. Like, I don't know. I mean, if Punk does come back, is it in his contract that he, he has to main event Mania? Like, I mean, maybe that's one reason. How, how, could, how could you not main event Mania these days? Well, sure, there's multiple main events of Mania, so I mean, we'll throw him that boom. Yeah, you know, you know, what WWE is like the fucking petty, like. They keep the main event on purpose. Fucking put 
Drew Gallic in the main event or some shit like that. But nah, I don't. I don't see CM Punk coming back, and if he is coming back, I definitely don't see it being the night. I mean, this may be a raw premiere, like, but I, I don't think they'd waste that return on this show. It's just there's nothing really happening at the moment. It'd be so cold. I mean, it'd be when I say a cold return. I mean, like, I just don't see fe how feeding him back into the WWE at this point in time. Like, feed him into what? Like, what feud would he go into? Like, what impact would he be making? I mean, it's the they're, premiere. They're still a, <laughs> I mean, even then, if it's Survivor Series, like, uh, uh, the next paper, if you have to hear on the sale, I don't really see... Uh, to me, if, if Punk's coming back, it's probably... It's Wednesday rumble. night. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, well, Wednesday, I mean... Uh, uh, <laughs> Not know, NXT, Wednesday night. It could be a... Fucking hell, do you could you imagine that, man? He, he turns up in NXT, that's never going to happen. But here... Maybe, maybe that's why Punk's brought up this whole... I'm going to... Maybe he's trying to throw people off. I'd love the guy to debut in AEW, like, but I just don't see it happen. <laughs> well, no, yeah, apparently he rejected a contract from AEW, so... Well, I mean, <laughs> that's the rumours, like, but what's stopping him and Tony Khan, for example, like, just the both of them agreeing a deal, and then saying the deal never happened? Ex exactly. I mean, yeah, I, I, that's, what you, I, that's what you need in wrestling nowadays, surprises, but because the products are bad, it's like... People are desperate for ratings and just to try and, you know, get people interested. So you can't get surprises anymore because as soon as something's announced, they need... Like, like that, that's uh, Smackdown on Fox. How great would it be, like, if you didn't even know The Rock was going to be there and you thought, yeah, just I'll just tune in to watch it, it and then The Rock's music hit, right? It's, it's good that The Rock's going to be there, but I mean, seeing you see a, a post on Instagram, The Rock going to be here on Friday, it's, it's fucking bland, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I, I get why they do it now because... The the kind of you know they're, they're desperate and they need to. And that goes around. Thing, but back in the day, I mean, that wasn't the, it wasn't the case. Like you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It's yeah, like you had fucking people turning up from Raw, man, just going to straight to WCW and they turn up in the show. It wasn't like Bischoff was like, yo, oh, man, check out WCW the night, man, match show, man, Randy Savage is make his debut. He's jobbing out the WWF. Anyway, they're talking about WCW. We've got Fleur and Hulk Hogan on this show. And, uh, why? I mean, it'll be great seeing them, like, but, I mean, is there a purpose to this, or...? Look, unless Austin comes out with, like, a 36-pack of beer, and they start drinking the beer between each. them and start telling old stories, then it's just not going to be... Well, Miz TV, it's... How can it possibly be good? I don't think there's ever been a good Miss TV. The best thing Miss has ever done was on Talking Smack. The, the Miss TV segments are normally garbage. I know. So, oh, Christ. And, uh, like, I, I got, like the old guys, but there's, there's nowhere for them to go. You know, they come back for these one-off appearances. And not, there's nothing going to lead to anything. There's nothing like substantial going to happen. It's just like, so what, what's going to like, Miss is going to say, all right, guys, how are you doing? And then... You might get a fucking like a minor heel come out or something, you know, and huh. it might like disrespect you. Oh, this is my time, like like Sami Zayn telling Taker to get the ring. Is this we actually believe Taker was listening to Sami Zayn? He's got, he's going to leave the ring like for you. <laughs> I mean, fuck off. I mean, but, so we might get some jobber comes in, maybe like the B team or something, and then I, I mean, would Flair Hogan even get physical? I mean, we might get could we could could we get like a punch for Hogan and a chop for Flair? I mean, that's probably he as good as I'll get. But whack, like, in, uh, I mean, you, you look at he fucking even when Michaels came back to that man, they had they were scared to have the guy have any sort of fucking and like a physical interaction with Sigler. So I doubt they're going to let two bloody pensioners, you know, get physical. So you know, I'd like, I don't know. like what's what's Miss T? What's what's going to happen? Is Miz just going to, I, I can't see them talking about their, their personal life, so Miz is going to be like, alright ah, Flair, I mean, how's your life going at the moment, how's your uh, how's your uh, case going against WWE, suing them for the trademark, the man, I mean, is he going to how's bring that up? Case for saying the N-word, uh, I mean, not really, just... <laughs> I mean, so, so where can they go, man, it's just going to be your generic thing, Ric Flair's going to go, woo, and Hogan's going to go, it's great here to be back with all the Hulkamaniacs, he's going to mention the wrong fucking stadium. And then you're going to get some job or he'll come out. And I mean, if we're lucky, we might finale. see a chop. But it'll probably be the miss. The miss will probably lock in the figure four. To pay homage to Flair. And that's it, man. It's unfortunate.
but I mean, if it, you know, see if it was Flair and Hogan going on a podcast, I'd be like happy fucking days. But because at least then you can tell interesting stories. But you know nothing's going to happen on Raw, like so. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think of that. And Brock Lesnar's turning up. I mean, why? Because really it's a know. season premiere, and they're forcing them to do more dates now, and that is pretty much your role. Like, I mean, like, oh, why, yeah, why is Kobe he, Kingston going to be on the show? Or? I, think, I think it's for one last payday, jumping about in the spot before he fully transitions over to uh, Fox. So, uh, I can just imagine it now. Lesnar comes out, Heyman cuts down and down and down. He leaves. Down. That's probably good. Down. Kofi Kingston will be going to Suplex City. Well, I, think, I, I, think that's, I think that's the only things worth talking about. I mean, there's nothing else, really. I, I mean, even um, things we've talked about aren't worth talking about. Because we all know what's going to happen. No, what, mean, what, what we said is going to happen. Like, I mean, there's not... You've got to talk about something. Like, I mean... I mean, there's, actually, there's more chance of CM Punk returning, right? Than Hogan and Fleur getting, like, actually delivering leg drops in figure fours. And Ray winning, and also Brock not standing a bit in the spot while Lesnar talks for five minutes. I would say that's a safe bet. Right, to end the video, last question for you. Not, it doesn't matter what show. Could be Monday, it could be tonight, Wednesday. I doubt it'll be Tuesday or fucking Thursday, or it could even be Friday. Is CM Punk going to appear on a wrestling televised show this week? Yes or no? I'll tell you one thing, right? It's not going to be Monday. <laughs> because I think, I, as much as appear in the night would take it away, like, it would take the steam out of AEW, like, holy shit, they've just, they've just brought Punk back. But I think if AEW start off with a strong show, for example, and then Punk debuts on Fox with The Rock there, I mean, it's also going to be a stacked card as well. Stacked as it can get. The debut episode of Fox, I think that would just kick AEW. I mean, like you've only, I mean, they've only got Jericho and they've just brought back Punk and Rock for it. You know what I mean, I, I think it would be Friday of anything, but I think Wednesday. So we think Friday, but if not Friday, Wednesday, or if it's going to be WWE, much? it's Friday. But I think it's more likely to be Wednesday. So, but yes or no, is he going to appear? or Is he not going to appear? No. I'm going to know as well. Can't see it. But if he does, I think it'll be AEW. I think... Unless we just don't know Punk at all, but he doesn't seem like the kind of man that would just go back to WWE. I can't see it. Especially now how bad it is. Like, I mean... I know. I don't know. I just I just don't see it. Like, I really C. don't uh, see it. Punk. C. Uh, Punk. And it's like... I mean, with, uh, I could see it more back in the day. Like, see when he first left. See the first couple of years after that when he got his ass handed to him in USC and... Fucking impact was down the toilet, and that wasn't even a fiable option. Well, I mean, he, he could have went back if he, he, he could have went to impact. But he, he, was never gonna he, get any, he, mean, he wasn't going to get a fucking good deal, right? So he could kind of. I mean, it's like for years WWE's really been the only option because by the time he left WWE, impact was gone to shit. Do you know what I mean? So that wasn't really an option for him. But now AEW's, he, he can make just as much money there as he can in WWE. So. I'd be, nah, I'd be very surprised if he ever goes back to WWE, especially while AEW's are in, so I'm going to say no, but if he does appear, it will be Wednesday night. <laughs> Not NXT, Robert, but anyway, I'll do it for the preview, and yeah, let's hope someone, so let's hope something good happens this week, but we all know, I mean, the best we're going to get is Jericho saying a little bit of the bubbly, and then maybe The Rock, I mean, what, I mean The Rock will probably batter Sami Zayn or something, I mean, oh, time to... Tune in the Fast 9, you know what I mean? What a shit. Anyway, till next time though. Peace.